Welcome to Dental Hub. Today's video is going to be on the Palmer charting system. In our last video, we went over the universal charting system, um, which is commonly used in the United States. We are going to give you a few other examples of other charting systems around the world so that you're acquainted with them. Um, you may not have to ever use them in your career, but just so that you have the background knowledge, we're going to go over a few of those. Okay, so this one is called the Palmer charting system. Now, it's a numbering system that we use similar to the universal system for adults and for children. The system uses the quadrants in the number from 1 to 8 for adults. And for children, they go to the number, to, I'm sorry, to the letters, so from A to E. For permanent teeth starting from the midline of the central incisor will be 1 and the third molar will be 8. So you're starting from the middle and you're working your way back to the very last tooth in your mouth which will be the third molar which is also your wisdom tooth so the inside the central incisor will be number one and then the third molar will be number eight whereas for baby teeth or primary dentition the central incisor will be a and the second molar will be e the quadrants are referred to by symbols. So whenever you see a Palmer charting system, there's going to be a symbol involved with a number or a letter. So for our upper right, it's going to be a right angle, like this shape that we have right here. So we have our demo of a, this is an adult mouth. So our upper right and this shape will fit in to that. So this is an easy way of remembering which shape belongs to which quadrant. Once you put it on the patient's mouth, it should create a perfect barrier. So this shape will not fit on the upper left side because the line on the bottom is facing the right direction and not the left direction. So then it's going to be the same thing for the upper left, which will be the opposite of the upper right. So now it's going to go from the middle and it's going to go out to the end. The lower left will be just the reflection of the upper left. So also you got it from the middle going towards the back and then swoops out to the left. And then the upper right will be reflective of what was on, I'm sorry, the lower right will be reflective of what's on the upper right. So again, midline straight out to the left. The system is referred to sometimes as a military charting system. Um, it might still be used in the military up to today, but in the general practice in the U.S., whether it's hospitals or privately owned dental offices, this is not a commonly used system. Okay. Next, we're going to go to our baby teeth with our demo. We're going to show how this is actually practical in an office setting. So you have your children's mouth, which have they have 20 teeth. We went over this in the last video. If you want to learn more about which tooth is which in the universal system, you can definitely check out our other videos on that, okay? Now, we're going to start with our upper right, which goes from the middle and off to the right. And then... Each tooth will have that, that same shape aligned with it. So we have our backwards L shape. Okay, then we have our upper left, and that is going to be associated with each tooth in the upper left quadrant as well. I just did different colors so that you can see the contrast is which shape belongs to which side. Then you have your lower left. Each tooth also would be aligned with that, that same shape and your lower right. All right, now for children, we use the letter system. So children, we don't use numbers for, we use letters here, okay? So I remember we start in the middle, central incisor with A, and then our second molars will be E, okay? So our A's are going to pop up. So all of these will be A. It can get a little bit confusing if you see every four teeth being A, you don't know which quadrant they belong to, but that's where the shapes come into play. So you will have your L shape 
on the top right, I'm sorry, on the upper left, you will have the backwards L on the upper right and so on. You'll have the same thing on the bottoms. So the main thing with the Palmer charting system is to pay attention to the shape that is involved with the letter or the number. So then our lateral incisors will be B. Our canines will be C. Our first molars will be D, because remember, children do not have premolar teeth. Then we have our second molars, B and E. Every single quadrant will have these letters per tooth, but the main thing are the shapes that are involved with it. So you want to make sure that you pay attention to the shape. Once you figure out the shape, you'll figure out what quadrant, and once you figure out the letter, you'll figure out which tooth exactly it's related to. Now let's do an, our own adult dentation. Now adults have 32 teeth, so we're going to go from the central, which will be one, and then all the way down to the last one, which is your third molar or your wisdom tooth, which will be number eight. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing for we did in the previous slide. We're going to color coordinate this. So you have your upper right, and each tooth is going to be related to one of these symbols. You have your upper left, same thing. You have your lower lefts and your lower right. All right, first number is going to pop up. So we have our central incisors being one, then our lateral incisors two, our canines three, your first premolars four, second premolars are five, you have your first molar at six, second molar at seven, and your third molars being eight. Now, like we did for the child dentition, each quadrant is going to have a number from one to eight. So every single quadrant, upper right, 1 to 8, upper left, 1 through 8, lower left, 1 through 8, lower right, 1 through 8. The main thing are the shapes. So you want to make sure you pay attention to whichever shape is associated with the quadrant. Okay? And there you have it. So that is it for the Palmar charting system. It's pretty straightforward once you get acquainted with the shapes that are involved with the quadrants. The numbers are all the same. The letters for children are all the same per quadrant. The only thing that changes is the symbol that is associated with the tooth. All right, if you guys would like to learn more about dentistry, check out a few more of our videos at dentalhop.com. Thanks for watching.